of the skyscrapers of Midtown Manhattan from high above the East River here in New York City. Happy New Year's Eve. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports for the NBA. We're all dressed up and ready to go. With Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. Here's what the Atlanta Hawks have lined up on their schedule. On Thursday, they'll be matching up against Mike Conley and the Memphis Grizzlies. Then on Friday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Chicago against the Bulls. You know, some might look ahead at the schedule and start marking off how many wins they'll wind up with, but I think that's a trap. You can't take any nights off in the NBA, and you've got to stay in the moment. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. Young and Herter make up the backcourt. And it's Prince outside at the three with Collins down at the power forward. And it's Vucevic in at the center. And for New York, Muscala is out there with Knox. Then it's Dennis Smith. Then it's Robinson. And it's Dotson in at the two-guard spot. Now when it comes to load management strategy, Doris, should coaches do it along the way as opposed to waiting until the last, say, quarter or third of the season? Well, Kev, I think you can look to the San Antonio Spurs, who I think were the first to really look hard at what we would now describe as load management. And I think the one thing is you're trying to just make sure guys are prepared for the most important point of the season. You've got to win enough to get in the playoffs and be positioned well, but your guys have also, also have to be healthy at the end of the year. Now Smith after the miss three from Trey Young. Six on the shot clock. Here's Dotson. Collins with some nice D. Here's Hurt, covered by Smith. Knocks the pass to Smith. Here's Dotson, who's averaging around five and a half points a game. Outside Robinson. Not three off the mark. Prince outside. Knicks with the rebound. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Atlanta. And they won the season series against this club last year. But, you know, then again, so did a lot of other teams. And this is what they're asking for from Dennis Smith Jr. Keep your eyes up and be ready to make a play for your teammates. And so it's the Knicks getting on the board first. Here's Herter. Robinson with the block. Here's Smith. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. Well, conversions have been a problem. 0 for 4. Here's Knox. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Well, Kevin Knox can score at all three levels, showing you the mid-range game right there. Young pass to Herter. Prince outside. On the money from 12 feet away. And now, in his second year of coaching the Knicks, David Fisdale putting more of a stamp on this team, changing the mindset of the franchise. Well, the New York Knicks hired David Fisdale to steer the ship with a group of young players. And I want you to think back to where he earned his stripes. That was with the LeBron James and Wayne Wade championship Miami teams. So he knows culture and he knows winning. Here's Vucevic following the score by Dennis Smith. Herder passes to Vucevic. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Young against Smith. Oh, and that is the alley -oop. And Robinson throws it down hard. Dennis Smith Jr., you want more of this. Find your open teammate and make sure you put it on time. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's Herder. Off target from three-point range. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. 
first quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. The tricky little pass take there, working well. Knox has got his second bucket of the game to go. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this team. And now the first timeout called here for the Hawks. And with the way Mitchell Robinson can protect the rim doors, there's a lot to like about that second round pick. Yeah, on draft day, Mitchell Robinson flew under the radar, but he had a great summer league. He got tremendous minutes early as a rookie. This is a great leaper, a great shot blocker, always something teams can use, both of those attributes. Zubox is checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Henry Ellenson comes in for Mike Muscala. Emmanuel Moutier is checked in for Damian Dotson. And Frank Nielikinas subbed in for Smith. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Onley is checked in for Vucevic. Omari Spellman comes in for John Collins. Kent Bazemore is checked in for Kevin Herter. And it's Peyton in for Young. Moutier with the basket. Oh, great ball movement there. The Hawks trail by 10. Peyton kicks to Prince. Pass to Bonley. Back to Prince. And there's the pass to Baseman. There's Spellman. Five on the clock. From deep, Prince. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Moutier, pass to Zubac. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Peyton dishes to Prince. It's hauled in by Zubac. The Knicks leading by nine. Moutier with the ball. An 11-point game for him in the win against Boston. Down low. And Moutier throws it down. Boy, that was quick. Already out to a double-digit lead. Wow, they've come out strong. Control the pace. Assert their will. Nice. Now here's Bazemore. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. This one for three. That shot off the mark. Now the Knicks take it the other way. And the basket by Knox. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. I know it's early, Greg, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. Here's Peyton. He averages about uh, five points a game. Moutier against Bazemore. And Moutier throws it down. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end, Greg. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's the New York Knicks. Their lead at 15 going into the break. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. Back to the action after this word. Frank Nilekina has established himself as a legit defender. He spoke about his mindset. Defense is 80% of real and 20% ability. So you try to stop the player in front of you and try to deny him to score the basket. That's just the challenge, and that's what I love in uh, this part of the game. A young player with an advanced understanding of defense, and his length gives him an edge. And his defense is something he enjoys. If he can put it all together at both ends, he's a player you can build around. And we're getting back to the action in our New Year's Eve broadcast. And guys, we've seen a confident-looking Knicks team out there today. Well, you come in thinking they're going to settle 
for perimeter jump shots. Think again. Well, they've certainly made the commitment to pounding the basketball into the painted area, and boy, is it paying dividends. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Setting the floor for the Knicks. We've got Neil Aquina. Randall out there with Knox. Then it's Moutier. And it's Zubats in at the center position. Well, really good recognition from Alfred Payton. In transition, getting to the right spot. Greg, Alfred Payton's continued to improve his game. And uh, so far, so good. Yeah, a market improvement in long-range percentage. Good size and defensive potential as well. He's knocking down shots. He might have something in Alfred Payton. The Hawks trail by 13. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Kevin, when Trey Young was in college, he was known for his long-range shooting. But Young says, the people who know me best know that I'd rather get an assist than any other stat. I pride myself on making the right play. Knowing your teammates get joy and excitement from playing with you is all I care about. Kevin? That's great to see. Thank you, D.A. And although the team didn't have much success last year, Emmanuel Moutier certainly got his career back, I thought, Doris, in the right direction. Well, I think for Emmanuel, he had an opportunity for minutes, and he played as he needed to in order to show that he is a capable player going forward. The tools, I think, have always been there for the former number seven pick. It's about starting to put it together consistently. Shooting two. A free throw good for Moody. Well, you knew the Knicks were going to try and make a huge splash over the summer in free agency. But you know this, Greg. Sometimes you swing hard at the pitch and you miss. And that's one of the problems of putting all your eggs in the free agency basket. Catching up on the changes for New York. Robinson's checked in for Zubats. Damian Dotson comes in for Kevin Knox. And Smith subbed in for Neil Aquino. Doris, if I were to ask you right now in the league, who has the most unstoppable shot, who would you tell me? You know what's interesting, Kevin, is I wonder if in the long view of history, James Harden's step back three will become sort of an identifiable shot with him the way the sky hook was with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yes, right? Yes. Like, you wonder, does that become a signature, signature play for James? It certainly is something that's darn near impossible to stop right now. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. And Herter gets it to go. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. Moutier, pass to Randall. Back to Moutier. Smith outside. From deep, New York with a new 14. Robinson misses. You know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Now, here is Young. He's coming off a 10-point game again. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, comparisons to Steph Curry... Unfair for Trey Young, and they're quieting. His shooting percentages in year one leave plenty of room for growth. And Greg, you talk about unfair comparisons for Trey Young. His career will always be measured against that of Luka Doncic after the Hawks traded back from the number three pick. And Doncic going on to win Rookie of the Year, an instant star. And Trey Young with plenty of talent. We'll see what he can accomplish. First free throw is good. You know, Greg, at Oklahoma, the long-range shooting of Trey Young drew eyes, but it seems it's his passing that's his most NBA-ready attribute. How about Kevin? First player in history to lead D1 college basketball in points and assists. Top 10 in the league in dimes his rookie season. 
Young man has a chance to be special. And so Young nails them both. Just a bright, young, offensive talent. Young isn't shy about forcing the action. Takes a lot of trips to the line. Muscala finds Moutier. For three, Smith. And the whistle blows. It's going to be a Mike Muscala. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Here's Vucevic. He'll bring it up for Atlanta. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Outside, Collins. Passes it to Young. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Yeah, they're going for the throat. Now, here's Bazemore. No points in the game yet for him. Pass to Young for the three. Offensive rebound. Second shot opportunity. Robinson with the block. They retain possession. New York leading by 10. Now, here's Moutier. Eight points for him. Robinson kicks to Smith over Young. Nice shot by Smith. Smith's got his second basket of the game. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been hard. Atlanta calls timeout. Yeah, that was a rough outing. Uh, they, they did a few good things, but the inconsistencies caught up to them in that one. To be perfectly frank with you, Greg, I'm surprised it was as close as it was. I thought they were outclassed all night. comes in for Mitchell Robinson and Frank Nielikinas subbed in for Emmanuel Moutier and a switch here also for Atlanta Spellman's checked in now here is Young five points in the game Vucevic finds Young lays it up off the glass Young's got seven points in the game well you like that he shakes off that rocky first period and knocks down a shot nice Muscala the pass to Ellenson now, here is Smith. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on Vucevic. And you spend any amount of time watching Dennis Smith Jr., Greg. His leaping ability makes for some impressive highlights. Kevin, he's got the size and the off-the-charts athleticism. Now just trying to figure out how to realize his obvious potential. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Smith. Well, we know this, guys. Last season, a little bit up and down for Dennis Smith Jr. Not sure he wanted out of Dallas, but certainly dealt to the New York Knicks. But now they think this guy is a cornerstone for their franchise. And the Knicks making a change here. Zubats is checked in. And then for Atlanta, Torian Prince comes in for Kent Bazemore. And it's Peyton in for Kevin Herter. That one misses. And with Smith, he had lost the ball handling duties in Dallas to Doncic. And you know what, Doris? It made sense probably for him to move on. Yeah, this is one of those trades, I think, that will benefit everyone involved. Dennis Smith Jr. is a better player with the basketball in his hands. And once he left, he got his confidence back and started to create great opportunities for the Knicks. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Some nice passing by New York here. Dots in the pass to Ellenson. 
Here's Dotson. Launches it. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Peyton outside. Pass to Prince. Young for three. Cans it from downtown. Young's got it back down to single digits for the Hawks. The most lethal part of Young's game. His outside shot is often on the money. And we finish one half of basketball. Knicks lead by eight. We'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Boy, what a crowd joining us here for our halftime report. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel Shaquille O'Neal. New York came out ready to play. Near flawless execution from both the defensive and offensive areas of their game triggered a 12-2 run to start things off. From their first bucket of the game to the end of the first quarter, they held on to that lead with an iron fist, never once giving it up. They saw that enormous first quarter lead erode during the second quarter, but they still hold an eight-point advantage at halftime. Hey, big fella, what's your take on New York so far? Well, they really dictated the pace of the game with their transition game. They got out on the break every chance they had, and the time they could push the tempo, they did. And a lot of times, they kept the defense scrambling like eggs with the cheese and apple juice. And now, Kenny, let's get your opinion on Atlanta. Well, they're trailing in this game because they're shooting under 35%. Now, I've got to give a lot of credit to the defense, forcing the shooters off their spots and making them feel uncomfortable. But if someone takes something away from you, you have to be able to adapt. So they need a whole new game plan because right now they're in trouble. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Without question, Trey Young displaying his skills today. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far unstoppable. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. The Knicks leading by eight. On the court for Atlanta. Young and Herter make up the back. And it sprints outside at the three with Collins down at the power forward. And it's Vucevic in at the five spot. And finished off by Robinson. And, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. And here's Young. The pass to Herter. Prince in the corner. Thor, it's such an honor to be on this with you, and, and you were the first female to become a full-time NBA analyst, uh, breaking new ground. You've accomplished so much in your life, personally, professionally. What would you tell young women who are graduating college, looking to get ahead in their career in what you've chosen? Well, first and foremost, I've been very lucky, Kevin. The game of basketball has been a part of my life since I was seven. It's been a driving force. I love it. I would just tell young women, and times are changing. Um, dream big. There's nothing that's impossible. And I'm so thankful to the NBA players and coaches who have just wrapped their arms around me from the time I entered uh, this business. So kudos to those players who are part of the change, no question. And hard work. I have seen you work. I have seen you prepare. No one prepares more. No one works harder than you. Thanks, Kev. Here's Young following the score by New York. Plays it up and banks it in. Young's got 12. Well, you can see why his teammates love playing with him. Vucevic willing to find the open guy. Passes it to Knox. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. For New York, they had shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. And the season numbers for them at the line thus far are, are really poor. Something I'm sure they are making a point of emphasis.
and so he hits the technical free throw. So for the Knicks, Randall's checked in for Robinson, and it's Moutier in for Damian Dotson. And a switch here also for Atlanta. Vonley's checked in for Vucevic. Let's it go from 11, and it's off the back rim. No good. You know, missed that one, but still a really good start coming off the break. Three for four now. Here's Hurt. He's covered by Muscala. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. They call him Red Velvet. Kevin Werder, out of the University of Maryland, proved he can stripe it from day one. The Hawks shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And they've been ordinary on the season as well. Just about 75% from the line. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And Greg Herter, the 19th pick back in 2018, sweet touch and at six foot seven. Good size at the shooting guard position. And the Hawks general manager, Travis Schlink, coming from the Warriors with Trey Young and, and Kevin Herter. The Hawks hoping they have a kind of Splash Brothers East. Both shots good from the strike. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Now, here's Moutier. Tight defense on him. And he uses the glass on the way. moutier has got 10 points. Well, you love to see Moutier try some things off the triple drive. Get creative, sir. Smith against Young. Len down low. Another shot. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Well, Alex Len, he of the seven foot three inch wingspan, helps you clean up the window a little bit. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Kent Bazemore's checked in for Torian Prince. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. That free throw good from Len. See, the one thing you think about with Alex Len is he is a capable low post scorer. But in today's NBA, he's got to modernize his game. Can he add the three-point shot on a consistent basis? Big question. Muscala finds Moutier. It's deflected. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Kevin, before he became a head coach in Memphis and New York, David Fisdale spent eight seasons as an assistant under Eric Spolster in Miami. Now, Spo said he's a brilliant basketball mind that has exceptional gold standard level communication skills. One of the most talented coaches I've been around. So, Kevin, Fisdale is highly respected. David, he sure is. Great reputation. Now getting his shot. Thank you so much. And the first one drops. As you can't help but notice, the teams are shooting earlier in the shot clock. One theory being the faster you shoot, the more possessions you get. Well, and the numbers would, would speak to that. No, no doubt, Kevin. And the reality is, for, for announcers and for fans, that breakneck pace makes it more exciting for us. One NBA mm -hmm. coach told me this past year that your field goal percentage in the first 10 seconds of the shot clock gives you your best opportunity to make it. And the longer that shot clock goes on, the more your field goal percentage dips. So, hey, good for us, good for the fans, good for the teams. And that's because the defense has a chance to set it, correct? It's exactly right. Payton, good. See, Alfred Payton, even though he's defended well, makes sure to get off a quality shot. That's nice. Pass to Zubats. Kicks to Moody. Rebounded by the Hawks. 
Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Oh, power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. And so here is New York following the bucket by the Hawks. Zubox, the best to Moody. Pass to Knox. Knocked loose. Just four to shoot. Out of bounds. Atlanta will take possession. A chance now to check out how the All-Star voting is shaping up. And I tell you, the excitement starting to ratchet up a little bit as the tallies start coming in. Take a look at Young. He's not too far away from a spot in the starting five. A lot of votes have been coming his way. And even if he doesn't get the fan votes he needs to become a starter, you have to believe he'll be a part of the Eastern Conference All-Star team. And we'll keep you posted as the voting continues. Bazemore, it's good. Bazemore's got four this quarter. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Timeout, timeout. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. And looking to stop this run and get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. checked in. Omari Spellman has come in for the Hawks. Torian Prince comes in for Kent Bazemore. There's a minute 34 left here in the third quarter. Here's Nilakina, covered by Peyton. Here's Moutier. That shot off. And Atlanta will come the other way. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. To the inside. Oh, no good from Peyton. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. Now here's Peyton. Herder passes to Peyton. Puts one up from 19. Shot is good off the back rim and in. And now it's only a five-point Knicks lead. And so it's Moutier with it. He'll bring it up for New York. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. The pass to Knox. Six to shoot. New York needs to get off the shot, and Ellenson throws it down. I like to see Kevin Knox share the basketball because what it shows is an improving awareness in finding his teammates. That's how people want to play with you. Now Peyton, he's got six. Stolen by Ellenson, and that's going to do it for the third quarter. New York ahead, leading by seven. And we'll be back with you right after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, this is why, Greg, great point guard play is so critical in today's NBA. And you see it right there on display. <laughs> and this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Mitchell Robinson out there with Ellenson. 
Then it's Dennis Smith, and it's Dotson in at the shooting guard position. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. That one's in there. The New York lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Young. The Knicks shooting the ball really well in this game, 58%. Passes to Robinson. Now the dish to Smith. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Trey Young. Well, make no mistake, Dennis Smith Jr. is not afraid of a little contact. Two shots. And that one misses. Well, think back to the 2017 NBA draft. Dennis Smith Jr. was the ninth overall pick. There were many who believed he could have gone sooner, and some still think he should have. Let's see what plays with this young man's career. Muscala, he's checked in for Henry Ellenson. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Collins checked in for Amari Spellman. He hits the second from the line. You know, he didn't get them all, but they'll be able to breathe just a bit easier with the two-possession lead. Young against Smith. Takes the three. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Dotson. Got it. Good job in the low post. The Hawks trail by seven. And Young kicks to Prince. Pass to Vucevic. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Young outside. Lets it go with a three. Down goes basket number six for him this game. He's taken 12 shots and made half of them. And they've really gotten on track here in the second half. After that shaky start, the field goal percentage steadily climbing. They couldn't make anything in that first break. Hudson can't hit. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. Here's Young. Basket made. That gives him seven field goals and 13 tries. And having to respect Young's deep range defensively. It's hard to close off the lane. Neely Kina looking it over. Outside Robinson. Smith inside. He's against Young. Just five on the clock. His first shot coming late. Neela Kina can't hit. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder, should he have moved it just one pass more? And it's Prince penetrating. The shot goes down, and he gets this game back to even. And you talk about fighting your way back into a game. They've shown a lot of grit in this comeback. Yeah, to start off with so many mistakes and still now find a way where everything's working, it allows their momentum and confidence to continue to build. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Well, Damian Dotson in his second season, this guy was able to get on the floor at a consistent rate and show that he could be a solid contributor. Kevin Knox is checked in for Neil Aquino. Kevin Herter, he's checked in for the Hawks. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. I was able to listen in on Lloyd Pierce talking with his team. 
He said he just wants them to play faster. He feels like they've been too lackadaisical with the ball and that their aggressiveness just isn't there right now. Kevin, back to you. It's good from long range. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes. They're alive. Smith, the pass to Dotson. The train. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. And the Knicks lead by two. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Pass to Herter. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Here's Knox, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Well, you think about Kevin Knox, one year of collegiate basketball at the University of Kentucky before being picked ninth overall in 2018. Let's remember, he's young, but he seemed to be prepared for the bright lights. And he makes the first. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Yeah, and their free throw shooting has really improved here in the second half. Young pass to Vucevic. We play just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Here's Herter. Knicks with the rebound. Robinson's got six rebounds in the game. Smith the pass to Knox. Here's Dotson. Guarded by Prince. Outs pass Smith. It's Robinson high post. Right wing. Here's Dotson. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. And finished off by Collins. You just can't leave anyone open around Young. He's very capable of spotting his uncovered teammate. Smith with it. He blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touched by Vucevic. Emmanuel Moutier is checked in for New York. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They lead by two. 132 left to play in the final quarter. and our Jordan player of the game, Dennis Smith. And, and to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken it. One thirty-two left in the game. And the Knicks miss again. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Trailing by two. Fires the three. Knicks with the rebound. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. 
Boutier past the Robinson. Out of bounds, Atlanta takes possession. Wow, what a time for a turnover. Shows you just how key one play can be. Atlanta's gone three of five from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. To tie it up. Here's Vucevic. Yes! So much riding on that shot. What a bucket. I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. Now, here's Moutier. In the corner, knocks with it. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. The feed to Muscala. Pocket four. Launches it. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Young up top, defended by Moutier. It's good! Ice in his face. Young excels at stepping to the plate and delivering in the clutch. New York calls timeout. They're trailing by two. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. seconds left to play here in the fourth. Now, here's Moutier. Over to the left wing. Dotson. Got it! And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. You can see the improving court awareness of Emmanuel Moutier having an understanding for when to find his guys. And Lloyd Pierce wants a timeout. Here's Vucevic. It's in! Vucevic so confident in himself and his teammates come along with him. And so the big win by Atlanta in a tight game. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Elford, what was the biggest adjustment you made tonight to come back and win? Uh, we turned it up on D. We got back to doing what we do and uh, attacking the rim on the other end. It all came together for a win, Elford. Thanks for your time. Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks, for Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Arlen along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.